The Unbelievable Dance Plague, History's Bizarre Mystery. In the heart of Strasbourg in July 1518, a peculiar and eerie phenomenon took over the town. Residents began to dance uncontrollably, a spectacle both mesmerizing and terrifying. It became known as the Dancing Plague. The bizarre event kicked off with Frau Trofea, a woman who unexpectedly started dancing in the streets. Her fervent movements soon attracted a crowd, not just of onlookers, but participants who joined her unending jig. Days turned into weeks, and the numbers swelled. With no music to guide their steps, the dancers moved tirelessly, as if under a spell. The city was bewildered, seeking explanations and remedies. Authorities, baffled by the inexplicable outbreak, sought counsel from physicians. The diagnosis? Overheated blood. The solution proposed was more dancing, believing this would exhaust the dancers into recovery. Musicians were summoned, and stages were constructed to accommodate the frenzied crowd. But the epidemic persisted, and many dancers fell from exhaustion or worse, succumbed to strokes and heart attacks. Amidst the chaos, whispers of a supernatural curse spread. Was it divine punishment or a sinister enchantment? The townsfolk were divided, caught between reason and superstition as they grappled with the phenomenon. Historians today speculate on various theories. Some suggest ergot poisoning, a hallucinogenic mold found on damp rye as a possible trigger. Others propose mass hysteria, fueled by economic hardship and social stress. The psychological toll of the time cannot be underestimated. The 16th century was fraught with famine, disease, and religious turmoil. Such strain could have manifested in this collective, uncontrollable frenzy. The dancing plague eventually subsided as mysteriously as it began. The dancers stopped, leaving behind a town in recovery mode, haunted by memories of the bizarre episode that defied logic and explanation. For centuries, the event has puzzled scholars and intrigued the public. It stands as a testament to the peculiarities of human behavior and the mysteries that still elude our understanding. Could it have been a supernatural curse? The notion captured imaginations, serving as a reminder of how easily fear and belief can shape perceptions of reality. The tale of the dancing plague has carved its niche in history, straddling the line between documented fact and eerie folklore. It invites us to ponder the limits of scientific explanation versus the allure of the supernatural. As we delve into this historical enigma, we are reminded of the fragile balance between our mind and body. The Dancing Plague of 1518 remains an unsettling yet captivating chapter in the annals of weird history. In the end, whether a medical mystery or a spiritual riddle, it serves as a profound reflection on how the human spirit can be moved in extraordinary, inexplicable ways.